is South India, a place where fields of green dot the countryside. It's also a place near and dear to Darsha Shivakumar and his sister Apoorva Rangan. They're co-founders of Project Chatrofa. It's an international collaboration dedicated towards alleviating rural poverty and environmental destruction in rural South India that's caused by tobacco farming by promoting the plant Jotrofa Kirkus, it's a biofuel shrub. These teens from Pleasant Hill, California, started the nonprofit in 2007 after visiting the region and seeing the deforestation caused by producing tobacco. You notice each year that like chunks of the edge of the forest just go away, they're just chopped down. And we found out that it's due to tobacco farming, which a lot of the farmers do. I mean, it's these huge, huge fields of tobacco. And we found out that they have to cure the tobacco, so they Heart, they buy firewood, harvest it illegally from the forest, which is having a really adverse effect on the forest itself. And that releases obviously a ton of emissions into the air. These farmers have to grow tobacco because it's the only crop that's being offered that can make any money. And for them, it's either gr grow tobacco or starve to death. Their solution to the problem, the Jatropha plant. It's a plant that can be turned into an alternative fuel. And we are decided to give them to subsistence farmers in India who grow tobacco and we're planning on help them move to a more sustainable crop because their tobacco production must be cut by 50% by 2020. It all comes down to the seeds. The seeds are actually uh, 30 plus percent oil which is really really high and it can be converted very easily into biofuel. The remaining seed case, it's easy to convert to a very cheap organic fertilizer that's very good. Or you can extract biogas from that and burn that as well. This here is the Project Jotrofa team reporting. They brought their video camera along on their recent visit to Labland Biotechs, one of their partners. So this is the final biodiesel? Biodiesel. The raw biofuel can be run in any stationary thing like a generator. But if you want to use a moving vehicle, you got to just do a very simple chemical process. And the leftovers of the chemical process, glycerin, can be sold to pharmaceutical companies as well. So every part of the conversion process is actually used here. So far, they've worked with 54 farmers in the region to plant 13,000 seedlings, either as hedge crops or intercrop with tobacco. We're slowly phasing out the tobacco. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Me and my sister were expecting like, oh, the farmers are going to easily accept this. We're going to have no trouble. And boy, were we mistaken. I mean, and rightfully so. I think we learned a lot from it because the farmers were very, very distrustful of us. Several issues. One, age. In Indian societies, age equals wisdom. And I was 13 and my sister was 12. Not exactly very, very convincing. I spent a lot of time with the women and I helped like, con like convince them to grow the plant and that we are here for like the long haul. And so far, so good. These seedlings right here, they've all had a decent amount of irrigation. And as you can see, there are definitely fruit there. In fact, some of the fruit are actually ripe. Jotropha, uh, it's economically viable in this case, what well, appears to be so far and at the same time help save the environment, so it's a win-win. They're also issuing a global call to youth, visiting schools where they're encouraging students to get involved too. What we need is more action right now because we're at a turning point for humanity. Anyone can do anything to save this planet, like even if it's just like a small thing, like planting trees or recycling, it's gonna make a difference. So everyone should try to do something because it's up to us to save the planet. And they say the time to act is now. If the environment dies, we die with it. It's a message they hope inspires young people everywhere to plant their own seeds of change. You can do more, you've got to do more, you've got to do whatever it takes.